Hey there and welcome to this ProFlows quick tip. I am Cameron and today I'm going to toot my own horn here for the analog glitch pack I've got available over on motionscience.tv. If you haven't checked out the analog glitch pack, it's a pack that uh, myself and another guy, Ryan Feigard, put together uh, to give you elements that you can use in your motion design or edits. They're really awesome elements and I want to show you how you can use them uh, in a really simple way. So what I've got here is the pack is brought in in part two. There's part one and part two, but I run in part two for this example. And I'm just gonna bring in a few of them just show you how powerful they are, okay? So we're gonna bring one of them in here and we're just going to drag it in here and we're just gonna preview this. Um, these are 4K elements and uh, this is a 1920 by 1080 comp. So you can see just by bringing it in here immediately right? How cool it is, right? So we can kind of see glitch here. So look, let's make the, the type glitch as well. So I'm going to change this back to normal, go to effect. My favorite way to do this is displacement mapping, select the analog glitch 36, and then just bump the values way up here. So there you go. We've got some uh, interesting uh, graphic uh, glitching going on. I can change this back to soft light if I wanted to. And a little challenging to see, so what I'll do is I'll just um, actually bring the position over just a hair since we've glitched it to the, the right. There we go, and I'll just duplicate the layer. That's looking pretty dope. It's even more dope. Um, if I undo this, let me show you a few other ways you can do some cool stuff here. So I'll change this back to normal. I will turn off the glitch layer here, so you can see just that by itself looks pretty legit. Change it from, I'm just gonna replace 36 with 37. You can see it gives it a little bit different look there. Uh, let's try 38, let's bring 38 in. Let's see what that looks like. Even more serious type glitch, and that's pretty cool as well. Uh, something I could do with this is I could go in, I could maybe set like a keyframe. You know, let's set a keyframe here. Um, let me bring down the amount just a hair. You know, something like that. Go to the beginning here and just crank it way up. Something like that. So maybe it transitions on. And let's see how that looks. So maybe I set a keyframe. I would uh, make, maybe make this do ease in and then turn on my speed graph here. And really, you know, that's pretty cool as well. Uh, like I said, again, you could turn this back on if you wanted to. You could make this like a soft light, uh, an overlay. There's all different ways you could do this really increase the, the transparency, maybe bring down the transparency of this one. You get the idea. So that is how uh, you can use the analog glitch elements. I've had a lot of people ask me like, how would you use these things? I really am interested in them, but I just don't know how I'd use them. This is just one very simple example of how you could use these elements. If you like this quick tip, I would invite you to check out ProFlows Plus over at motionscience.tv. We've got lots of techniques, trends, workflows, uh, techniques that are way more involved than just this. There's full on lessons, series of lessons that teach you things like glitching. So I invite you to check it out. That's all I got for you today.